What's up guys, Randorazor here with another random product review video for you guys today. And today we're gonna check out another Sunjo pressure washer from Sunjo. And uh, this would be the SBX 9009 series with a uh, carrying cage, which is pretty cool. Anyways, let's check it out. All right, so we got a ton of bubble wrap. Some more cardboard. Looks like we have a manual, some sort of little tool, and warranty information. And next up, it looks like we have part of the hose reel and the cage. All right, so continuing on, we have more boxes and more boxes. And more boxes. <gasps> Alright, this thing's kind of heavy. So here's the actual pressure washing unit. It's actually quite heavy compared to Sunjo's residential pr uh, pressure washers. So you can tell it's uh, significantly more heavy duty to say the least. The last few pieces is another hose here, your washer gun, and your metal nozzle, as well as your washer head. So yeah. putting this thing together is pretty easy. You can see the little knobs here and these just slide on and you just pop them into the holes on the other side of the tube. Alright, so it's actually been about a couple months since the unboxing part of the video. I really wanted to give this some good use and give you guys a proper long-term review on this commercial-grade pressure washer from Sunjo. First off, I want to give you guys a quick overview of this pressure washer. Starting off at the bottom here, you can see that there's a large white container, which is your soap uh, dispenser. You don't have to use it, you can just leave it empty or you can take it completely off, but it's an option there in case you want to use it. Next up, you can see the pressure washer itself is sitting on top of this tubular uh, steel cage or stand, whichever you want to call it. Basically, this just makes it easier to roll this and carry this around. You can buy this particular pressure washer by itself without having all the extra stuff on, but if you wanted to make it easier to have everything with it, this is a pretty good option. Next up, you can see the pressure washer also has this little plastic guard around the end of the pressure washer gun. There's also these uh, plastic wheels. They're the same wheels that the uh, residential models also use, like the SBX 3000 series. I'm not sure why Sunjo couldn't put anything a little bit more durable on with actual uh, rims and tires, but they're large and it makes it a little bit easier to roll this around. Moving up, we have the actual pressure washer unit itself. You can see it's an all metal design, pretty big step up from the uh, Sunjo residential grade pressure washer. So if you want something, whether you're a homeowner wanting something a little bit more robust, or if you want something that's entry level in regards to the commercial grade, uh, you can see here, you're definitely moving up in regards to the pressure washer quality. And if you're wondering what this little dot in the center here is, is actually a, a clear window. So you can tell there's oil inside the actual motor. Now, if you ever need to put oil in here somewhere down the line, this little cover does just pop open and you can see the little access ports to uh, put oil or check the level. So on the other side here, again, you can see this is a much more heavier duty uh, pressure washer with all these brass fittings. This here is where your hose would go in. I have this little adapter here for my Gardena hose. That's why the silver piece sticks out. Um, there's also an adjustable, adjustable knob here for the pressure. So if you want lighter pressure, just twist it counterclockwise. You want maximum pressure, twist it all the way down clockwise, uh, depending on what you're washing. For example, if you're washing a car, you don't exactly need press uh, maximum pressure just because you don't want to damage the paint. But it's nice that Sunjo gives you this feature so that you can pretty much wash uh, delicate items to heavy uh, duty items. And last but not least over here, you have your on and off switch, which I think is a little bit of an awkward spot. I wish it was like on the top or something, but it's right on the side here and it does light up so you can see in the dark. Here's a quick look at the back of the pressure washer unit. You can see there's a large metal grill uh, with a whole bunch of holes in it. That's where the fan is to help push out the hot air from the actual motor. So make sure you don't block that, let alone spray water in it, of course. 
While we're still back here, here's a quick look at the actual power cable. There's a hook on the back that lets you wrap around the uh, wrap around the power cable and keep everything nice and tidy on the pressure washer. I think the hook should be a little bit longer. I find it a little bit short as some of the uh, cables are starting to pop out, which you can see. It does have a built-in breaker on the actual outlet for added safety. For me, I leave it all wrapped up just because I prefer to use my own extension cable as it's a little bit easier to replace that in case something gets damaged than it is to replace the actual power cable attached to the pressure washer. Moving on to the top, we have the hose reel. This is an added, I think it was about a $50 option to upgrade to the hose reel. Uh, you also don't just get a hose reel, but you also get an upgraded pressure washer hose too. It's a lot more flexible. Maybe it's a little bit more durable, but the biggest thing for me is that I find this hose to uh, not kink up as easily as the uh, traditional Sunjo uh, pressure washer hoses that come on the residential model. So it's definitely a better quality hose and I just like how it doesn't kink up as easily. The biggest great for me is actually the hose reel here. If you're planning on using your own pressure washer hose, save the $50 and just get the one with the hook built on, which you can see in this picture here. But the hose reel, it's an all plastic design. This part feels kind of flimsy to be honest, although it's kind of nice that it does fold in to give you a little bit more of a compact um, width, more or less. But um, there's no ball bearings or anything like that. It's actually pretty, it's a very stiff uh, hose reel to use back and forth. And honestly, it's not really that fun to use. It doesn't make it easier or quicker to, to clean up and tidy up your uh, pressure washer hose here. Again, it works, but honestly, I would probably save your money just by the hook model. The only advantage that's for me I find with this is that you do get a nicer hose. Moving on, we have the actual pressure washer gun here. Uh, the one that's included with this is, I think is the same one that's included with the SBX 3000 series that Sunjo has. So if you use that one, this is going to be pretty familiar. It's an all metal barrel, so it's pretty good quality. I love the quick connect that's on here. It's very easy to use and a very good quality brass, brass uh, quick connect. The gun itself does feel a little bit cheap with the plastic casing that's around it. I feel like if you ever drop this really hard, the gun could actually break. Um, I kind of wish Sunjo maybe put some sort of rubber coating around the uh, the grip area here just to, make, to give you a better grip because the plastic itself is a little bit slippery. But for the most part, the functionality purpose of the gun is very good quality. It's all metal like I already mentioned. So it's a decent gun for what you get. But of course, if you don't like it, you can always opt for a third party one which you can attach yourself. And the last couple things on the top here, we do have a little pad that holds all your uh, different uh, nozzles from zero degrees all the way up to 40 degrees. And a small added detail is the foam handle on the top to make it a little bit more comfortable when you're carrying the pressure washer around. So that's an in-depth overview of the Sunjo pressure washer here. Let's now take a quick demo and see how this thing works. All right, so it's getting a little dark out, but let's do a couple tests with this pressure washer. The first thing I want to show you guys is how loud it is. For something that's a little bit more heavy duty commercial grade, this is a fairly quiet pressure washer. So let's check it out. So you can see here, the light does shine green to let you know that it is on. Um, and you can tell by the noise, it's a very quiet pressure washer, which is one of the main advantages with a electric pressure washer. Now you can already tell this does not have an auto shut off like the consumer grade pressure washers do. So if you don't plan on using it for more than a minute, then I recommend turning it off manually. So one of the first obvious reasons to buy a pressure washer is to make it easier, quicker, and more thorough in washing your vehicle. So let's test that out with a quick foam cannon and rinse. And then a quick rinse.
So as you guys saw, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, instead of just cleaning cars or washing a deck, we are going to clean these exhaust hood filters from a commercial kitchen, which has a ton of grease on it. The first thing we're going to do is spray some degreaser on these filters. You could put degreaser in the detergent tank of the pressure washer, but the best or this method is a little bit better because it allows the actual chemicals to sit on the grease and let it uh, break it down for a couple minutes. All right, so we got the degreaser spray on. We'll let it sit for a couple minutes, try and work its magic, and then see how well it will come off with the pressure washer. All right, so here's the end result for the first side, and you can see here, it seems to be pretty well clean. I'd probably give it one more rinse, uh, but for the most part, uh, with the assistance of the degreaser, of course, it took off that grease pretty easily. So I'm going to go ahead and finish all the other five filters that are left and see what it looks like afterwards.
And about an hour later, we got some squeaky clean kitchen exhaust hood filters. Overall guys, after using this pressure washer for pretty much all summer now for both commercial and residential examples, I have to say it's a pretty nice pressure washer for the price point. So from a residential perspective, using it to wash cars, you know, cleaning your deck, uh, little jobs like that around the house, this is certainly more than enough. Uh, granted, you can save money and buy, for example, Sunjo's SPX 3000 series, which pretty much has the same performance as this one, but the biggest thing you're paying for is a much more robust pressure washer that's designed uh, for a lot more use, and of course it's uh, more heavier built. And basically what that means is that you're buying a pressure washer that will last you a lot longer in the long term versus a residential grade pressure washer. Now granted, if you're just going to use a pressure washer once a week, a residential one's usually more than enough. But again, the biggest thing you're paying for with this one here is a much more robust built and the fact that it's going to last a lot longer in regards to wear and tear in the long term. So what about commercial purposes, the general contractor, car detailers? For those of you who are looking for something that is going to be obviously a step up for residential, this is again a great choice. Now when you move into commercial pressure washers, they that's a different realm. They range anywhere from 500 bucks like this all the way up to 2000 plus, depending on if it's electric, gas, and of course the performance and how heavy duty you want it to be. The Sunjo model here is certainly geared towards people with light duty applications for a commercial usage because this is, in my opinion, a entry level commercial grade pressure washer. For example, for those of you car detailers out there, you don't need the most powerful pressure washer in the world. You need something that is reliable, can be used every day, and uh, just to wash cars because you don't need a whole lot of cutting power or else you're going to wreck the paint on your vehicle. So this is certainly more than enough. It's mobile, it's lightweight, and can be carried from driveway to driveway uh, pretty easily. Some other applications, this is also a good pressure washer for cleaning kitchens, which you guys saw I was cleaning some uh, grease filters, which did an excellent job at. Um, because because this is electric, you can use this inside a commercial grade kitchen as it doesn't produce fil uh, fumes. A third example of commercial usage would be a general contractor when you have the odd job of cleaning east troughs, driveways, residential decks, uh, side uh, sidewalks, walkways, uh, little things like that and you need to do it a couple times a week or something. This of course is a great choice, it's portable, more than powerful enough for residential applications and of course even commercial applications for small businesses. Again, this is usually more than enough. Like I mentioned with the car detailers, it's on wheels, it's not too heavy or as heavy as a gas-powered electric pressure washer, uh, minim minimal noise pollution compared to a gas model, so definitely some advantages in regards to using this electric model. However, for those of you who have an actual company that uses a pressure washer on a daily basis and are not just cleaning residential driveways or decks, but also uh, commercial spaces like large parking lots, large uh, patios, uh, things like that, this may not be adequate, not because it can't do it, but because a more powerful model would do it more thoroughly and more quickly. So if you're a cleaning company that needs a pressure washer on every job or multiple jobs on a day-to-day -day basis, then you want to consider something a little bit more expensive than this and therefore more heavy duty, more powerful to get the jobs done quicker and move on to the next job. In regards to any cons or things I don't like about this pressure washer, the first one that I mentioned earlier are the wheels. The plastic wheels, same ones that they use on the residential grade pressure washers. So I do kind of wish Sunjo put something a little bit better quality for wheels as this is something that's designed to be carried from job site to job site. So you want something a little bit more robust, especially for the wheels. The second thing I already mentioned is of course the hose reel. I like the hose, it's flexible, doesn't kink as easily. The hose reel kind of works when you're unraveling the hose, but when you want to uh, reel it back up, it is a little bit tedious and to me it doesn't seem to make it any quicker or easier than if it was just a plain old hook. And the last thing I want to mention is this pressure valve here which you use to adjust the pressure of the water. I find that anything under 50% the valve becomes a little bit loose so if you set it at 25% the vibrations of the pressure washer actually loosen it up even more and you kind of wonder why you just lost a whole bunch of pressure coming out of your uh, pressure washer gun. Uh, so that's one little bit of annoyance with this pressure washer is that the, uh, the valve there can automatically loosen because of the vibrations of the pressure washer. So in conclusion guys, although this isn't the perfect pressure washer in the world, for the price point, you're getting a pretty good reliable machine. Sunjo has a ton of experience making pressure washers. This one is of course no exception. Again, you can buy this pressure washer without all the extra stuff on, just the actual unit itself. If you, if you plan on putting it in your utility truck or sticking it inside your garage or something, 
Uh, but from my experience of using this all summer, it's a really nice pressure washer. It doesn't matter if you want it for commercial purposes or residential purposes. It's a nice pressure washer to have. Plenty of power, reliable, and something that's definitely going to last for a number of years. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Any questions or comments about this pressure washer, ask Square in the comment section there down below. Hit that like button as always helps me out, and I'll see you all in the next video.